All right, guys. Happy Tuesday. It's training day. I know that our jewels are um, in, most of them are in Maui, and we're seeing the Tiffany bracelets, and we're going, ah, I want a Tiffany bracelet. And so um, we'll be there. We'll be there next year. So I wanted to welcome everyone, and thanks for joining. I uh, want to make sure nobody's having trouble getting on, so let me just check real quick um, to make sure that everybody's um, able to get on. All right, perfect. So I'll go ahead and get started. So tonight is social media, and I know we all use social media, but are we using it to our advantage, and are we maximizing our use of social media? And so we're going to go over social media. I could probably do a whole training call on Facebook, um, just to be really honest with you. So we're going to spend some time on Facebook. I am going to talk about Instagram. I am going to talk about Periscope. I am going to talk a little bit about Twitter. Um, so we're going to talk about the different forms of social media and how to utilize them. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Again, I could probably do a whole call on just Facebook alone, so I want to make sure that we have enough time to hit the other things. So we'll go ahead and get started. If you have any questions, the question and answer box is right there for you. We'll, we'll hit those at the end if you have any questions as we go along. All right, um, I always forget to introduce myself. My name is Jessica McCormick, and I am a gold ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. And I am honored that Jana has asked me to share my team meetings with you guys. Um, so I am actually Jana's level two, and I'm here local within, I'm in Red Oak, and so I'm her new local team here. And, and my name does say that I am Jana Garcia. I use her Zoom, so um, it says that, but I am not. I am Jessica McCormick, and I'm a gold ambassador with Lexus Worldwide. All right, so social, social, say that five times, social media, um, how to maximize your business using social media. So it's just huge. It's huge with our business. Um, I watch tons of periscopers who are talking about social media and how to use it. So we're gonna use some of that knowledge that I've gained from them to um, give you tonight. Again, uh, it's an hour. I'm gonna give as much as I possibly can. If you have questions, um, put them in there and, and we'll try to get to them. And, and like I said, we could probably do a whole one on Facebook and maybe I will one day. All right, so I wanna start off with this. I wanna start off with us treating our business, our Plexus business, like it's a business. And so it's so huge that we treat Plexus business like it's a business. What does that have to do with social media? Guys, it has everything to do with social media. Because if we treat, hey, I'm going to throw a post out there and make a wish that I get um, a hit off of it, an ambassador, someone asks me questions, that is not really a great business practice. So if you open a bakery, would you put up your open sign, um, without being ready for business. Posting things randomly and hoping people come is like putting an open sign on the counter where no one can see it and unlocking the door and expecting people to walk in. So we're gonna be talking about how to put the open sign where it belongs and how to get people in the door to our business. So we need to treat our Plexus business like it's a business and you're a businesswoman who owns a small business and it could end up being a large business one day for some of you it might be but right now it, it's probably a small business so we need to treat it like that so we're gonna get right into be purposeful it's so important these are the different things we're gonna talk about tonight but it's so important that everything you do on social media is done with a purpose and I have this little saying over here, it says successful people are not gifted, they just work hard, then succeed on purpose. And, and, and it's just the bottom line, it's true, it's so true, you need to succeed on purpose. So we're going to be talking about everything we do needs to have a purpose. And so it's so, guys, it's so huge to have purpose. So these are the things we're going to hit. Follow people who are successful. We're gonna talk about planning your post. We're gonna talk about being strategic with your time. We're gonna be talking about knowing your audience. That's huge. To know your audience, it's huge. We're gonna talk about Facebook. We're gonna talk about uh, Twitter. We're gonna talk about Instagram. 
and we're going to talk about Periscope. Periscope's new, and so there's not a whole lot about Periscope, but we are going to talk about Periscope and how that can help grow our business. Again, I could spend all night on, on just the Facebook, but I really hope that you take notes, and then if you have questions, you ask, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. All right? The first one is follow successful people. If you're not doing this already, I suggest that as soon as I'm done with the call that you get on Facebook and you start following um, immediately. So I know um, it's so important that you follow immediately. So follow people on Facebook, Periscope, Instagram, Twitter who are successful. So does that mean they have to be Plexus peeps? No, they could be someone who has is an entrepreneur and they're successful in their business and they inspire you. Follow them. Follow them on. Um, I have people that I follow on Periscope who probably don't even know what Plexus is, and um, but they are successful entrepreneurs and I treat Plexus like a business, so I follow them. Uh, find people who like that's my next point. Find people who inspire you and follow them. And they don't have to be a jewel. They don't have to be a plexus person. And they could be a person who's silver. They could be a person who's gold. They could be someone who's senior gold. If they inspire you and are encouraging to you, follow them. Um, sometimes they may not accept your friend request, but you can follow them on Facebook. If you didn't know that, you, there's when you write by friend is follow. And so you can follow them. I do tend to, if we have common friends, I'm going to accept your friend request um, until I get too many and then I'll probably have to weed some people out. But right now I do accept them all if we have common friends. And that's the thing. If you don't have common Facebook friends, Jana and I have had this conversation. If you don't have common Facebook friends with Jana, with me, you're not you're, you're not doing this business right. You really need to have relationships and be following and be friends with tons of Plexus people who are going to encourage you and you can watch what they do. So it's so important to follow people and to be friends with them. So huge, huge guys. All right. So when you plan your day, which I hope you do, but when you plan your day, add in time to look at their pages. So you're going to add in time to look at people who inspire you. You're going to go look at their pages, see what they're posting. You're going to go look and see if they're doing anything on Periscope. See what they're doing on Instagram. Did they post on Twitter? Go look specifically at their pages. Don't scroll. You're going to have scroll time. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But this time is for you. I have um, Periscope time set in my schedule, and I do it in the pickup line. So when I'm in the pickup line waiting on my kids, I have about three people I watch uh, very consistently, sometimes four. They don't all do Periscope every single day, but I'm going to listen to those Periscopes as I sit in line. And sometimes I am not done listening and I'll come home and get the kids started on homework, get them doing their reading for 15 minutes a day. And when, while they're doing that, I'll finish my Periscopes. So it's so important to have it on your schedule to take time to watch those people and to let, take a look at their pages, those people that inspire you. That once a day is huge, guys. It's huge. And it is building you up to be a better you. So take time for that. It's so important. And I put on here, successful people are simply those with successful habits. Again, plan. Plan your day. Plan to be successful. Plan to win your day. Plan from the beginning. All right. Plan your post. We talked about planning. And so does this mean, now we have some over planners, and I'm not an over planner, um, but we have some people who are over planners, and they want to write every single post they're going to make. This is the person. I don't do that. And I'm not telling you to do that. I'm telling you to be strategic in what you do and what you post and when and where, honestly. So we're going to talk a little bit about scroll time, but I put on here, use your notes from scroll time and from your conversations with your friend to know what to post and where. So what does that mean? Well, we've had trainings before. Um, my, the training I did last week, um, it's uh, recorded and it's in the Rockin' Group. If you haven't seen it, it's about relationships and about building relationships. And it's huge that you take notes on the conversations you have with people, take notes on what you see during your scroll time so you know, hey, Julie had a migraine. I need to post on migraines. And Julie's really not been active in my group. 
So I need to post that migraine post probably on my main page. And I know Julie, I know she's in the pickup line and what does she do when she's in the pickup line? She looks at Facebook. You may not know all of that information about Julie, but you may. So if you plan ahead and you go, hey, I watched that, I watched it happen. And then you can go back to Julie and say, and message her and say, hey, I just posted a post about migraines. I hope you're feeling better, praying for you. Go take a look at it if you'd like. If, you're, if you don't feel like doing that, if you don't want to start there, then start somewhere and post. Post about that migraine because you know Julie just had a migraine. And it can go anywhere from migraines to brain fog. It can go to ADHD. There's somebody needing help with homework that couldn't focus. Really, honestly, take good notes. You allow yourself scroll time. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Allow yourself scroll time. But during your scroll time, take notes. Take notes on Susie and Julie and Jan and what's going on in their life. Okay? We're going to talk about what else you're going to do during scroll time. But that's one thing that's important is to take notes. And not just during scroll time. Also do it during your regular, normal, every single day life. If you're talking to a friend, which hopefully you talk to people outside of social media, at church, if you're talking to somebody at a school function, take notes with that as well. And know when they get home, when you get home from that function, they're home from that function. When you put your kids to bed, if they're the same age, their kids are probably in bed too. And so they have time to look at Facebook. And so that's the time you're going to post something about what they said. And it's just being strategic with your post instead of going, oh, this post looks good, post. Eh, this post looks good, post. And what that's doing is, again, putting that open sign where nobody can see it because nobody, they didn't need that at that point. But you have people that need something, that they need something that our Plexus products can help with. And if you're strategic and post about that, think about those people that could come to you. I'm telling you right now, I do this. Every single day, I do this. And at the amount of people, I could show you my inbox right now, the amount of people that ask me about Plexus is crazy because I'm very strategic at what I post when I post it. Now, do am I strategic every single time? Do I have a strategy? No. Sometimes I don't have anything going on with anybody, so I post a, I'll post a before and after. Or I'll go find a good one and post it. Um, but really, if you can be strategic and if you have something or you watch during your scroll time or if you've listened, then do it. It's so important to plan and, and be ahead of the game. All right. Post on your main page, too. I don't know if you're on here. One of my ambassadors, um, I, I messaged her the other day, and she's like, I have nobody interested. And she goes, I post in my, my group every single day. Well, she stopped posting really on her main page. And it's so important because... Some people will see those notifications and start ignoring them at, at times. And so you want to make sure that you post on your main page too. And we've heard it so many times where somebody will go, well, I, saw, I just signed up for Plexus. And they're like, you're my best friend. Why didn't you sign up under me? And they're like, I didn't know you sold Plexus because you didn't post on your main page. I still had somebody just recently say, you sell Plexus? <laughs> It was funny because I post a lot, um, but they didn't even know. So we'll talk about that and the algorithms of Facebook in a little bit, but they didn't even know us old places. So it's so important to post on your main page. Now, do you overwhelm your main page? No. Uh, do you post more than once a day in your main page? Maybe. Do you post regular stuff too? Yeah. It, it's That's the last point is don't just post places, but post on your main page as well. And that, that goes with your main page on Facebook is what we're talking about is Facebook primarily. I put here, shake it up. Oh, shake up when you post. Shake up um, whether it's on your group or your main page. I'm really on my main page. I usually am going to post something about a migraine, something about gut health. Um, if it's a friend, I'm going to post a before and after, but I don't usually post weight loss really so much on my main page. I'm posting gut health and I'm posting anything about migraines, anything about fatigue, things like that um, are really what I've seen my audience, and we'll go back to, we'll go to know your audience in a minute, but it's what I've seen my audience really go towards, so that's what I post on my main page. Um, and then the before and afters, I usually post in my group. All right, so shake up when you post. Um, 
post in the morning for sure. I know that in the pick in the drop off line, I really don't have time to look at Facebook. So I, I figure people really don't either. They're going to do it maybe when they get home if they're stay at home moms from dropping their kids off. So that post around then, post around lunchtime and usually and then again right at that pickup time when it's when it's three o'clock and I'm about to go get in that line. That's when I post because I know that almost everybody is on their phone looking at Facebook during pickup line. So that's just huge to post right around then um, so that the people can get on. And then I try to post in the evening as well. And that's in my group. But switch it up. Sometimes I'll post in my group at those times. Sometimes I'll post on my main page and not in my group. So really definitely switch up when you post and what you post. It's so important. And I put on here, use Twitter, use Instagram. We're going to go into that, but use Twitter, use Instagram. We'll get into that in a minute. And again, don't just post Plexus. Don't, don't just post Plexus. And, and another way to plan your post is I do this all the time. I am going to, if I see something that I saw in a group that be the best of you with Tammy, I don't know if she's on. Hi, I copy you all the time. Um, if I if I see something that she posts and I love, I'm going to go, hey, and I'm going to write in my notes in my phone is usually where I do it because I'm usually out and about. I need to go to that group next time it's time to post. So I know, hey, I saw something I really liked in that group or I saw something that Sally posted and I need to go to her page and, and copy hers next time I post because I really liked it. So make yourself notes. That way you're not constantly hunting. You don't have to constantly use buffer. You can actually post yourself. So it's so important that you post yourself. So so make yourself notes as you go through and you're, you're in your scroll time or in your free time or whatever you allow yourself to, to look through Facebook and make notes. All right. Here we go with your time. Be strategic with your time. Your time is important. And ladies, gentlemen, it goes so fast. Time can fly. You can be on Facebook and next thing you know, it's been two hours and you've not done flexes. You've just played on Facebook. And you think your husband's like, well, all you do is play on Facebook. Well, at that point, yeah, you kind of did just play on Facebook. So we need to be strategic with our time. Here's where the scroll time comes in. Plan scroll time, but set a timer. Set a timer on your phone, set a timer somewhere in your house where you're planning that scroll time. And plan it for Twitter, Periscope, Instagram. Like I said, I have my Periscope time where I allow myself to go on Periscope and where I'm gonna watch the scopes. If, if they're live at that time, great, I get to catch a live. I used to try to catch them all live. I don't quite do that anymore. I have certain people I watch for because they add value. And um, I see value in what they, they present on Periscope. So I'm going to watch them and I'm going to watch for their Periscopes. But I usually don't watch them live. I'm going to watch them during those times that I allow myself to do Periscope. So that way it doesn't consume my life because it can do that very easily. All right. So plan scroll time. And if it's if it's you give yourself an hour, give yourself an hour. I'm not going to tell you a time frame. It's for you to decide what time uh, you need to give yourself for scroll time, but I do encourage you to make it a time frame and to really make notes during scroll time. We talked about this um, a little bit ago, but it's so important to make notes. If you're putting them on your calendar, like I said, if you're putting them on your phone, if you're out and during scroll time, make notes on who you need to go back to. If you didn't get to like or comment, go so that you can go back to them if you you know scroll time is over but you want to go back just really make notes it will really help you be strategic in what you're doing all right plan B active time this is where you're gonna go to certain people's pages people who have inquired about face and um, about Plexus on Facebook even if it was forever to go even if it was when you very first joined, they asked. You want to make sure you're active on their pages. I've seen it time and time again where I have gone on somebody's page and somebody posted something, a cute little thing, and I'll be like, oh my gosh, that is so funny. Three seconds later, they message me about Flexus. I've seen it happen. It happens. Am I going to say it? I guarantee it's going to happen every time. No, guys, come on. I'm going to say that I've seen it happen. It's happened to me. Um, it totally has happened to me multiple times. So be active and plan active time. 
You're not, this is not scroll time, it's different. You're gonna go strategically to those people's pages. You're gonna go to their pages, you're gonna like and comment. You have to comment. You can't just like because I can't tell you who all liked some picture I posted yesterday. 30 people liked it. I don't know the 30 people's names, right? So we don't really look at that. We're gonna look at who comments, okay? That's what we're gonna see. That's what, if somebody comments on something, I'm immediately going, what in the world? I'm looking at my face on my phone and going, oh, okay, what do they say? Like I have comments right now and I'm like, I wanna know what they said. So you wanna know what they said, so you're gonna go look, right? So it's so important to comment, not just like. All right. Does everybody understand? I hope you do. I know we can't talk back to me, but I hope you understand that you need to plan active time and that's being strategic with Facebook and Instagram and Twitter to people who have questioned you. You want to go on their pages, like it, comment on it. Every day, no. You want to just pick certain people for certain days. Okay, so it may be every day for some people. It may be every other day. It may be once a week for some people. You need to just be strategic and decide, you know, know your audience. You have to know, hey, with that person, when every day is literally what it takes, that's how active they are on Facebook, or once a week, is that what it's gonna take because they're not very active on Facebook. You'll know your audience. It's important. All right. Hey, know your audience. <laughs> It's so important to know who you're talking to. If you don't know who you're talking to, you're just talking to the air. You're really not talking to anybody. You're just talking. So it's so important to know your audience. Know what's going on in their lives. Know what age they are, how they are, how old are they. I can tell you right now, if they're on Instagram, just from experience, most people on Instagram, I'm on Instagram, um, but I know, like, for instance, my mom's on an Instagram, and my aunt kind of is, but she really doesn't post. So I know that really Facebook has become the older crowd, and Instagram has become the younger crowd. So it's really important to know your audience and know who you're talking to, know their age, know what's going on in their life if they're in that age bracket. All right. Know who's watching you. It's so huge to know who's watching you and know what times. Again, if you're hitting for those stay-at-home moms, we know what time to post for them. If we're hitting for the um, older crowd who's retired, we know, hey, they're on Facebook a little bit more. Or, hey, we know they're um, really not on Periscope, for instance. They probably don't even know what Periscope is. And that's okay. You know who to, where to go to hit that age bracket. You know to go to Facebook. Know what they want to see. Again, when we hit Instagram, we're going to be talking about being creative. Instagram, you have to get their attention. You have like seconds because it's 20-year-olds, 20-ish year old, 19, 20, up to 30, and sometimes over 30. But they're going to scroll fast, boom, 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 boom. you got to get their attention. And so you have to be creative when you post on Instagram. All right. Um, watch what is liked. This is huge. If you can really do this and be strategic in your planning and use this, it, it really can be huge. So watch what's liked and what's commented on. So you can watch in your group page and in others' pages. So if you're, you should be in, it's on my Facebook um, page here, but it, you should be in tons of Plexus People's groups. You really should. We are a team. And we want to encourage each other and we want to help each other grow. And so I'm liking and commenting and in a lot, I'm in a lot of groups, guys. I'm in a lot of groups. But it's so important that we work together to be a team and that we like and we comment on each other's things to build each other up. So you can watch things. If you're watching a really successful person, you know this person has a lot of PV. You know that their gold, they're going to be senior gold soon or their senior gold going to be ruby soon. They're really moving up. You want to watch them. You want to watch what it's like. You want to, hey! Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? So it looks like Jana Garcia has Hi. popped on. Oh my gosh, guys. She has Hi. popped on. Hey, she is in Maui. And so, hello, what are you doing? <laughs> Hi, can you hear me? I can, yes. I just kind of called in to say, hey. <laughs> How's Maui? It's awesome. It is? 
Yeah, we're having so much fun. I saw your new bracelet. Isn't it awesome? Oh my gosh, it's so super cute. Yeah. It's the so weirdest cute. thing is the time difference here. What time is it? It's only three o'clock. Are you serious? Yeah, it's three o'clock. Hold on, I'll show you the, the view from our balcony. Okay, show us. It's really weird because it's just, it's in the afternoon. Can you see? Oh, wow. Yes, I can see. Wow. How beautiful. Guys, who's going to be there with us next year? For real. Wow. Can you see the pool? Yes. <laughs> I can see the pool. We're so going to be there next year. <laughs> I didn't know if it would let me get on or not, but I saw y'all were having a meeting and Yay, I'm glad it did. We were talking about um, we're talking about using social media. Yeah. And we're talking about um, we just got through talking about being strategic with your time. Let me see. Yeah. Let me do it. We've talked about planning active time. We're gonna about we were talking about knowing your audience and how huge it is to know who you're talking to. Watch what's liked, watch what other people post, watch what they like, watch what they comment on so that you know, hey, this is what really is getting attention. If I post about this, it's really getting attention, whether it's gut health, whether it's ADHD, whether it's migraines, what you're posting about that's liked um, and commented the most so that you know that's getting attention. So to know that that's what your audience likes. So like my main page, I'll post about migraines and gut health because that's really what gets my gets the audience attention on my, right. on my main page for sure. Right. Well, I mean, social media is so important. You know, I built my whole entire first diamond on Facebook. Yeah. So, you know, I know that our, our new team where we are local, we've done a lot of meetings and stuff in person, but a lot of people don't realize that you, I mean, you can really do almost everything on Facebook online. And that's why it is so important because your audience is pretty much limitless, you know? Yeah. And so, um, you know, until I got to this, the area that we're at now, everything I did was from home. Even, even the training meetings, just like what you're doing right now, I did them all online. Every single week I did a training meeting for a long time, many, many months. And so everything else was done on Facebook. So it is so, it's so important for people to really understand the impact that you can make on Facebook with your business. Yeah, it's huge. And we were talking a little bit about Instagram and um, Twitter as well and using those, those niche markets as well because, yeah, Facebook's great, but I think it's also fun to branch out into those. I have people follow me on Twitter that I don't even know right? Um, and on Facebook, I pretty much know my people who are my friends. So we were going to talk about that as well. And of course, Periscope <laughs> being the new thing. Well, that kind of connects with knowing who your audience is because yeah. different people are going to be, your, your circle is going to be in different things. You know, my circle happened to be all Facebook, but I know that the younger generation does a lot more different, you know, avenues. So that's what I just said. Literally, we were talking about the Instagram is you and Twitter, honestly, too, is a younger generation. Mm -hmm. And um, we're seeing the young people be very, very successful with Lexus. So I think that you can't neglect those markets either. Yeah. And Pinterest. A lot of yeah. people on Pinterest. I, I, we, yeah, I didn't put Pinterest on here, um, but a lot of people do use Pinterest. I haven't really branched out to that yet, but a lot of people do use Pinterest. Pinterest. Yeah, for sure. So we were going to talk about Facebook. Since you're the Facebook queen, I'm glad you're on. Do you want to talk about it? Do you have time? Are you hanging out with us? Oh, I'll just be on for a few minutes, but whatever you want to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we were talking, I just wanted to go through the different things of Facebook. And it's so important to know the algorithms of Facebook and know that just because you post something and you post three or four times a day, it doesn't mean that that person sees that three and four times a day or, or people see everything that you post. It's so huge to know that, especially nowadays, the Facebook has really um, been taking things where people can't see everything that you do. 
and they're just saying, okay, only can be able to see this or you can only see that. So it's important that you post things that will get attention. Like I posted something about the Dallas Cowboys winning and, and then the New York fan like just looks staring at the screen like what just happened? Well, that got a lot of attention, a lot of likes, a lot of comments from people who don't normally do that. So that brought those people back to be able to see my stuff. So it's important that you you know the way Facebook works and you know the algorithms of it and that not everybody sees everything and that you need to post regular stuff too that will draw people back to you, be able to see what you post on your main yeah. page. And especially positive stuff that, yeah. um, you know, we, 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 we learned some really amazing stuff today. We went to a, a meeting and uh, it was several hours long and, a lot of exciting stuff is coming. You guys are going to be so excited. Uh, Leaders Retreat is, they've, they previewed some stuff that they're going to show us at Leaders Retreat, and it's going to be amazing. It's really going to change. Our whole entire company is changing for the better. And so um, we're not allowed to say anything yet, but at Leaders Retreat, you'll find out, and it's, and it's going to be, you guys are going to be so excited. We were so excited today. But, what, but she was talking about, we were doing some training on, being a leader and and just on Facebook in general and she was just talking about how important it is to keep your stuff positive and you know everybody knows that you're gonna have a bad day every once in a while but don't show that on Facebook you know if you're using Facebook as your business you really can't post that you're you know having a terrible day or that you're depressed or you know anything like that because you know like she said you may have had people watching you for a really long time and they're watching everything that you're posting and maybe you know maybe thinking about joining your team and one negative thing could turn them off to joining you so everything you post you need to post that with that in mind you know is this going to make somebody want to join me or is this going to make somebody not want to join me yeah, that goes back to what I said in the beginning and talking about if you, because we really do own our own business and we have to treat it like a business, our Plexus business like a business. And so it's like, hey, we have a bakery, but instead of putting the trash out in the back by the dumpster, we put it out by the front door. And so that's just not something that's not welcoming for people to come in. And so that's where it goes back to Facebook. You have to think about what you post because if you post negative stuff, it's like putting the trash by the front door where you're not really welcoming people in. And so you really, really do have to post positive stuff um, and post things about your family, not just Plexus and what's going on in your life. And But really be positive. Um, I just recently posted a black and white picture of me um, without any makeup on and my hair was standing straight up because my daughter had been throwing up. For 48 hours and wow. so yeah it was fun um but so you know it was but it was my reality it was reality I was living in and but did I feel like I looked I didn't I felt great because my Plexus product but I looked a little rough and so that's kind of what I posted is hey here's my reality but I don't feel like this I just kind of look like this because I've had a rough couple of days but I feel great so if you feel like I look you should we should have some real talk too because I put on there you know let's have some real talk but just kind of brought it back around to positive hey I don't feel like this I kind of look like this now and was being real because hey if I post my pretty makeup self all day every day then that's not my reality and so I posted my reality at that time but brought it back around to a positive and hey if you look if you feel like I look right now we need to talk okay so I thought that was kind of cool because you have to be you have to keep it positive. It's so important. Yeah, so true. So important. We talked about, I want to talk about Adam. If you haven't created a group, create a group, make it a closed group. Add everyone. Do not judge somebody um, because it's so important. That person that you think they will never, ever, ever do Plexus. Guess what, guys? Those are probably going to be the people who are your rock stars on your team. Um, I've seen it happen with me. I didn't want to add certain people, and I didn't, and now they're on my team, and I didn't even put them in my group. <laughs> Um, so it's so important that you don't judge a book um, by its cover, by who, what you think about them. Just add them. Add everyone to your page. I put 
Yeah, so true. Post three or four times a day. I know you say two. Um, I do encourage when school's going to post three or four times because you have the morning drop off, the lunch time in the afternoon pick up, and then kind of the evening time when they're sitting down after the kids are asleep. So you have a couple of times where you can hit different people. So I do encourage you to post a little bit more during school. Uh, we talked about posting on your main page. Do not neglect your main page. Post on your main page. Uh, it really could be the difference because that person may um, turn off notifications and then you have them and they're doing their scroll time and they're scrolling through and they see something that you posted because it's on your main page. So post on your main page. Yeah. Yeah, it's huge. Um, I put read comments. This is how I learned um, how I learned read comments on questions in the rocking group. I see a lot of my people doing that now because they'll like my because I usually comment if I can help I'll comment um, so they'll like my comments. So it's huge. Read the comments on the questions in the rocking group. If you know the answer, um, answer the question <laughs> in the rocking group. Help us out. There, there's really, um, again, no wrong answer because our flex is products are natural so they work different with everybody um, and every single person that takes them so some people take things in the morning in the afternoon in the evening so share what you're doing really share we, we do encourage that um, I said it earlier be in as many groups as you can be friends with as many people as you can um, uh, Jana I was talking about you saying hey I can't believe we don't have very many mutual friends why don't we have Plexus mutual friends and it, it just breaks your heart because you want them to have those friends and to be a part of the family so it's so important to be friends with those people be friends with Plexus people uh, where did I go all right, comment on other people's posts. If, if Rachel posts something in her group, I'm going to try to comment on it. Um, you want to comment on other people's posts, and you want to encourage them to. That really, again, it just builds the team. It just builds the team, and it's going to, because what's going to happen is you're going to comment on theirs, and guess what? They're probably going to go and comment on yours. And so it just boosts, because when somebody comments, if you don't know the way Facebook works, is when somebody comments on your, whatever you posted, it bumps it up in the, um, big huge line of things that we see so it bumps it up in it so if you come if I come in on Jana's picture it's gonna bump it up again so when I scroll through I'm gonna see it again okay so that's the way Facebook works when you're doing your scroll time is it bumps it so when you like something or when you comment on something it bumps it so it's really it just make, you know it makes it more exciting too yeah. when people see comments and it's funny the way it works in marketing it's like it's a lot subconscious and people think that if a lot of people are excited about something that they want it too. So yeah. it really helps to have that, those comments and those likes because people, you know, in their mind, they think, well, all these people are excited about this. It must be something really to look into. It's true. And they're going to read the comments. I do it. I'm going to go on a picture and go on something where somebody posts and I want to see what other people say about it. So I read comments. So I know that there are people out there that read comments too. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. And they may not even like them. They may not like the post, but they're going to read the comments. It's huge. Oh, and I, I can't read your um, writing because I'm on my phone and it's like really, really tiny and my eyes are old. But <laughs> um, like Rod just said, it's really true um, that to reply to those posts, Mm -hmm. and keep the activity going as much as possible. You know, um, some people are really active on Facebook. They're, they're really good at this and they understand how it works, but some people don't. And so when, whether it's on your regular wall or your customer group, if somebody asks a question or if, even if somebody comments, it, it's better for you to go in and comment on that comment. And, you know, keep the post going for as long as you can. If you've got a conversation going, well, all the better. And if, if it's a prospective customer or ambassador that asks a question, you know, don't just private message uh, the person and leave the, the, the comment open because you may have 50 people watching that and they're going to see and they're going to be like, well, she didn't answer her, so I'm not going to even ask it. Sure. But if they see that you're saying something back and then you're, you know, you, somebody might say, well, what is the pink drink? And you answer it in the way that we answer it. You know, it's a, it's a drink that we drink once a day. It helps regulate your blood sugar and it cuts down on cravings. And then I would say, um, 
and so let's say Kathy's asking the question, what, what is the pink drink? And you, and you answer it. And then you say, um, Hey, Kathy, I'll private message you and give you some more information. So then whoever's watching, that's just curiosity. They're going to be like, well, I want to know too what she's going to tell her. So that kind of thing, you've got to really think about what's going through people's mind on Facebook. And if that activity is going on, they want to know about it too. So don't just think, well, I'm just going to private message this person and then it'll take care of them. But you got to think about all the people that are waiting for an answer as well. Like when somebody says, how much is the product? And obviously we can't say prices, but you can say, well, I'll PM you. And then that way you'll know. And then all the people will be like, well, I want to be PM too, because I want to know how much this is. So they might private message you or they might say, well, I want to know, can you private message me too? Um, but there's a lot of people watching and so many people don't comment. They just read. There's, so, there's way more readers than there are commenters. So if you think about for every person that comments, there's probably 50 to 100 that are reading that. So make sure that the people that are reading also are getting the answers to those questions as well and not just leaving it open like that. And I, we, me and Rod, we see it all. I'm sure you do too. We see it all the time. People, you know, they open a customer group and somebody asks a question and they don't answer or they don't answer for two days. And it's like, no, you have to be, you know, obviously we can't be on our phones 24 seven, but you can be coming on, you know, two or three times a day and making sure that those questions are getting answered pretty, pretty quickly. You know, like you said, it's like a store and your store has to be active. It has to be open. Otherwise people are going to just think your store's closed all the time. And who sure. wants to shop in a store that's closed? Yeah. So it's like hanging your open sign up. And yet when they walk in, there's no one there. Um, right. There's no one there to help them. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Ryan. Right. Hey, I got uh, something I like to do is sometimes post something that's strictly unrelated to Plexus. And if you do that periodically, you'll start seeing people that in your customer group, in your customer group that they'll never, they, they may never click like on your testimonies or comment. So if you put something, un, you know, unusual, something funny, uh, you'll be surprised. You'll start seeing, and so if you kind of know who's in there, maybe, you yeah. know, so you might want to keep track of, of what, you know, you know, what they're looking at and then maybe reach out to them. Absolutely. And so then they'll post and that really, that helps you know, hey, they really are watching. Exactly. They really right. are watching. Um, Jessica, I'm going to have to get off here because I've got to okay. go get my pictures made. Um, okay. but, so I didn't mean to interrupt your call. No. I just want to say hi to everybody. Um, but I will say totally unrelated to what you're talking about yeah. that, and I'm going to post it in the rocking group later is that, um, you know, so many things are, are amazing here. And, but one thing that I really want to let everybody know is that, you know, last night we went to the welcome reception and I'm sure some of you saw the pictures. I'm going to post a picture in the rocking group later. But the amazing thing is, is how big this company is growing. And just, you know, this is my second year to come to Maui. And just the difference between last year and this year in the amount of people that are here is freaking unbelievable. I mean, it's just five years ago, it was, five years ago, it was six. There were six jewels that came on the, the trip. And I think they said 250 people qualified this year. Last year, I mean, it was half the size. So at the welcome reception, you know, there's tables everywhere and they have this, I mean, it's so nice. They have this ice sculpture and all kinds of, I mean, they, they just go all out with decorations and a buffet and, you know, drinks, everything. And last year it was, I thought it was a lot of people, you know, but then this year it just blew me away. I don't even know half the people here. It's like, they're all new. They're all people that have just qualified just within the past year. And it's exciting. And I even told Rod last night, I said, it's just amazing when you look at the sheer numbers of the way this company is growing and the people that are at the top in this company, there's so many. I mean, this, this hotel, this resort is huge and it is full of Plexus people. And you just walk around and you don't even know a ton of the people here. You don't even know who they are, but there's just so many. And that's so encouraging to me for our team because it makes me just know that if these people can do it, if we can do it, then you guys can do it too. And the more it grows like that, the more encouraging it is to me that next year, there's probably going to be 150 more people here than what we're here this year. So we're going to probably have like 400 jewels next year here. Wow. 
And so I'm really, you know, I know it's going to be a lot of people from our team. And so we have about seven, I think we have seven here this year from our, from the rocking team. The next year it's going to be way more. And so I just, you know, to me, it was very encouraging to see the numbers um, increase that much for how many people are here and to talk to the first people, the Sheila Medina and all that, how, you know, at the beginning they only had six and to be her and to watch it grow like that is just, she said, it's mind blowing. She just, she's like, I can't even believe that this is happening because it's just each year, it just, it just blows up even more. So um, I'll leave you with that. Thanks for doing the call, Jessica. And, um, but I know everybody can make it. You guys just keep doing what you're doing. And Facebook is huge. I'm glad you're doing the topic on that because it really is. I mean, to be able to do your whole entire business from home, if you choose to do it that way, is it's like a dream come true, really. For me, it was because, I mean, I think it's awesome to be able to just sit at home and work on your phone or your computer or whatever. But you do have to build the relationships just like what you're talking about. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad you popped on. It's good to see you. I can't wait to hear everything and see all the pictures. And yeah. I'm sure we'll have to spend a whole day talking about it. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You're welcome. You guys have a good rest of your call and a good night. And I miss you thank guys. You. Thank I'll you. I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, y'all, can you believe she jumped on? How awesome is that? We got to see, if y'all don't know, that's Jana Garcia. She is our diamond, and um, she is amazing, and she is in Hawaii. She's in Maui, and she was talking about how the company is growing, and that's what we're doing here tonight, and if you're on this call, that's what you're doing, is you're building your business so that, girls, we can all be there next year, and we can be doing this call from Hawaii for all of our golds and silvers and rubies and people who didn't get to go. We're going to be doing this call for them while we're in Maui. So it's just so super exciting and to know that it is achievable and know that we can be there um, and laying on the beach. I will be there laying on the beach. Will you? All right. So let's jump back onto Facebook because I know you guys want to take some of these nuggets with you. And then we have um, Twitter and Periscope. So I'm going to move a little fast, uh, but it is recorded so you can watch in a little bit. Okay. Post on your main page when you have a big, big victory. If you've lost five pounds, guys, post on your main page. Say, hey, I've lost weight. I'm posting about it in my um group. Um, here's my group. Go, go take a look at it and you can share your link on your main page. Lead people back over to your group. You'd be surprised the amount of people that will message you and say, add me to your group. I want to know. I want to know. Or you can say, hey, I have a new before and after. I have a new before and during picture. Here, go, go to my group and take a look. So it's huge. Post about that to lead people to your group. Always be increasing your friend base on Facebook. So Jessica, are you telling me to go to random people? No, I'm not telling you to add random friends. I'm telling you to go to somebody who you went to high school with, somebody you went to church with seven years ago, somebody who um, you haven't seen in very long, but you probably have mutual friends that you know, and you're just not friends with them on Facebook. Okay, you just haven't made it friends with them on Facebook. So go find that cousin, go find that friend you had that you went to school with that you're friends now with on Facebook and look at their friends, look at their friend list and see if you know those people. That's really how to increase your, and it's something I do consistently. I'm going to do it once a week at, at most. I'm going to do it once a week uh, because I don't want to throw, go into Facebook jail. Um, that you're going to do it once a week and really go into those people's and add new friends. And that is really, it's not random people. It's people that you actually knew you actually went to high school with. You went to church with them three years ago, whatever the case may be, you know them. You're just not friends with them on Facebook. So you have a wider base and you have wider people that you can reach out to. You just need to go and bring them in. Okay. And then don't immediately throw plexus in their face as soon as you get them on. They talked about that last night. Don't immediately throw plexus in their face. Get them in. Let the watch, the watch, the watch. And eventually you'll add them into your group and start little talking to them with about plexus. But you don't want to throw plexus, I can't talk today, at their faces as soon as you um, become their friends. All right. We talked about this already. Don't like, comment. Don't just like, comment. Post about your families, your activities. We talked about that. We talked about staying positive with Jana. Um, 
Okay, here's something that's really important, and I just recently went and did all this on all my social media, so it's going to be something I say on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope, is make sure that when your description, because you're allowed to, to post a description, some of them are limited by characters, but make sure that you post something about Plexus. And I have my website and my Instagram on the top, so I can say my link is in my bio, and I have that I'm a Gold Plexus ambassador. In my in my bio so it's important that you put in your bio something about Flexus that leads people back to your website that leads people to know hey you are a Flexus ambassador all right so it's important also on if you can fit it in the words again you can't post you can only do certain amount of words on different ones but you want to put in hey follow me on Periscope this is my Periscope handle follow me on Twitter this is my Twitter my Twitter and my Periscope are the same and you can say, hey, here's my Facebook group, and put your Facebook group on there so that they can find you. Whatever you can fit and what you can try to fit into your bio, you want to fit as much as that as possible to lead them back to that. Especially new friends, they're going to read your bio. If they're new friends to you, you met them at the kids' school, and you, they're going to read your bio. They're going to go and check you out and see who you are. And so make sure that your bio has boxes in it. All right, I put on here use hashtags. My sister is probably like pulling out her hair when I say that she hates hashtags. But you can actually use them on Facebook now. So when you use hashtags on Facebook, what that does, if you if go ahead right now and you can look on your Facebook where it says if you do hashtag YIplexus, and then you can click on it, it's going to show you anything and everything that everybody's posted with that hashtag just by clicking on the hashtag. So it's really cool um, to, to, to use those hashtags, use the hashtags that other people are using, because then you can direct people through instant message and say, hey, just go click on that hashtag, and you'll see a lot of testimonies about people who have used Plexus and are successful at it. So use hashtags that can lead people right back to it, especially younger people that use hashtags on a regular basis. They know what they are, they know what they do, so use hashtags. Now, every time you post, I don't every time. I do a lot, though. I really do a lot of hashtags. All right, Twitter. Okay, I don't use Twitter very much. Going to be real. But I think it's a market that I should use more. So do you use Twitter? Do you have a Twitter account? Twitter and Periscope are connected. Um, they don't have to be. You can have one without the other. I do suggest you have both together, um, but you can have one without the other. Use it more. I have my Twitter. Everything's connected to Facebook, uh, except for Periscope. But my Twitter is connected to Facebook. So anything I post on Twitter, it automatically posts on my Facebook page. Anything I post on Instagram, it automatically posts on my Facebook page. So everything I post in either social media platform, it automatically posts on my Facebook page. So I do suggest that you connect them all. That way, if your Twitter audience isn't on Facebook, then great, you hit the Twitter audience and you hit the Facebook audience. So I really do encourage you to use Twitter, use hashtags on Twitter for sure. Post multiple times a week, this is my goal, <laughs> this is my goal, post multiple times a week uh, using Twitter. I, I don't like to post pictures on Twitter. Um, I, I've heard it's upgraded, so it's a little better than when I used to use it, so I'm gonna try it again. Um, but post multiple times a week using Twitter. You only have a certain amount of characters you can use, so it's a little harder um, to get something in there, but I do try to post a couple of times a week using Twitter. Uh, follow new people on Twitter. There, I have people almost every day that follow me new on Twitter, which is great because that means anything I post, they're going to see. So find new people, follow them. Because usually what they'll do is follow you back. That's usually the way Twitter works. And um, again, we go back to make sure your profile info, it has your Plexus information. So it has my websites up there. I really need to put my group name in uh, Facebook and tell people how to find me on Facebook and Periscope um, and Instagram. And like I said, in other social media. So Twitter is a really good platform for the younger people. So I want to make sure I'm hitting that as well. And again, it's connected to my Facebook. So I immediately post from Twitter and it immediately goes to my Facebook. All right. Instagram, it's the same thing. If you don't use Instagram, use Instagram. Really, really, really use Instagram. If you don't have the app, get the app. 
sign up, use Instagram. I really am encouraging you. It's a younger market, it, but it's people who um, you can influence and can really do fantastic influxes. So like I said, it's a younger audience, so you have to be creative. So use Google. So if you don't know this, um, I have an iPhone, and with my iPhone and my Safari, I can just type whatever I want. So that Instagram picture that you're seeing right there on the, my screen, I got because I Googled and in my Safari, I put Instagram. And then when you do it, it you can click on images when it comes up, and it's going to show you every image. You have to be careful, some of the images are a little bit, but it's going to show you the images for whatever you put in there, okay? So if you want something on gut health, if you want a brain, if you want core, whatever you want, if you want a word, you just put that in there and then you click on images and you're going to get an image. And if you don't have an app that where you can um, add more than one photo, I encourage you to get an app. I use Moldiv, M-O-L-D-I-V, M-O-L-D-I-V. And when you open it up, I know it's my phone and you probably can't see it, but when you open it up, it has different things. You can add different multiple pictures on it. And once you go in there and you add your pictures, you can actually write something on there. You can change the borders. Um, this is really, you want to get creative when using Instagram. Because when you do these kind of things, it gets their attention. And so you want to be creative. So uh, you really want to get their attention because, again, they're moving fast through Instagram, but they, you want to do something that catches their attention. And here I said bring content that will draw them back. Again, watch your likes. Watch what people are liking on Instagram. Watch what people um, really are drawn to, what they're liking more, what they're commenting on. It may be, hey, you went to Target and you went for one thing. Have you seen all those posts on Facebook? My goodness. You went for one thing and you got 70 things. That's like the new thing to post on Facebook right now. My whole link, my whole scroll has been about Target. So, hey, Target, I've got some really good advertisement, right? So be creative and post things that people are going to be drawn to. Um, and again, connect it to your Facebook page where you immediately post on Instagram and immediately goes to your Facebook. I do encourage that. I do want to talk about Periscope. Huge, 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 and then we'll get to questions. Um, Periscope is a huge, huge, huge tool for you guys. It's something that has grown me so quickly because I have access to it at my fingertips every single day. And we have so many people with such great knowledge getting on Periscope and sharing their knowledge for free. And you get to watch it. And you get to make notes and you get to grow. So use Periscope. Follow people who bring you value. If you want a list of people for a sake of time, I'm not going to go rant off my name of names of people to follow. But I do have a list. So private message me or I'll try to post it in the rocking group of different people I follow. Now you have to remember, I don't know these people personally, so I don't know what they're going to post on Periscope and whether it's going to bring value that day or not. But you have to take the value that you can and leave the other stuff aside. That's something I've learned in life, right? You take the value you can from it and then the other stuff you're like, yeah, okay, yeah, no. But you move on. All right. So when you're ready to start doing your own Periscopes, I have done one. I may do them eventually. Um, go ahead and turn on your location. That's going to help you draw in. I watch a guy, um, Periscope, who um, it gives Periscope tips on how to be better at Periscope and draw in people and build your business using Periscope. And I actually watched several people doing that. I haven't jumped on the train yet, but I plan to. So part of it is turn your location on. Now, when you turn your location on, FYI, it's your exact location. So... Be cautious in turning on your location. I don't turn it on when I'm home alone, being honest. So turn on your location because that draws people, anybody in the area, it's going to get a notification that you're on. And so it's going to draw a bigger audience. That's what it's going to do. So um, it is important to draw that audience, but again, it gives your exact location. So it's really important that you know that for safety reasons, obviously. All right. Um, Bring value when you're doing a Periscope, because if you don't know what Periscope is, real quick, it's like what I'm doing right now with you guys, so it's live video. It's live video, but y'all can't talk back to me, right? Y'all can ask me questions. Well, they can ask questions on there, um, but it's live video, and it can be a three-minute video, five-minute. I've watched a 15-minute video. It can be really 
they can do whatever they want. They can say whatever they want. And so bring value. And um, we have a lot of people on there that are coaching us to have we have a lot of diamonds that get on and they're going to bring value to encourage you emeralds um, and above who are going to bring go on and encourage you and show you how to grow your business we have a lot of them that do daily scopes so that's what it is it's a video and you can hop online they're only up for 24 hours so 24 hours if you're following them you can go back and you can watch that live broadcast again um, you can't ask a question because it's already over right but you can go back on and watch it. So I, again, I talked about earlier how I don't usually watch live anymore. I go back on and watch later um, because I, I manage my time a little better now. All right, so bring value. And then once you, you bring value to that scope, you're talking and, and if you know, you've already brought value, you've already brought something that maybe gave them an aha moment and you're, somebody's like, oh my gosh, that's great. Well, then you can say, hey, now share it with your friends. And what happens is when they scroll over, they can share it. They can copy the link. They can share it straight to Twitter. Again, Periscope and Twitter are connected. So guess what? If they share it straight, ugh, straight to Twitter and their Twitter is connected to Facebook, it immediately is shared in Twitter and Facebook. So all of their friends can see, hey, Jessica's live. She's bringing value to me. Y'all go watch it. So they're going to be drawn to that to go watch it, either right then or later. So it's really, really a huge market that we are just now trying to understand. Again, I can show you some people who will show you what Periscope is and what it does and how to really use that market. I'm watching a lot of those right now before I jump head first into doing videos. But um, I will probably eventually start doing videos so that I can, hey, it's another market. Um, I don't know if I'll do one every day. I don't know. We'll see what I do. And I did say Periscope regularly. So if you do one every other day, once a week, I am, I am watching these people who are really growing their business using Periscope. So they're really doing it. They do daily scopes. For me, that's a lot. Um, so I'm thinking maybe every other day, once a week, but just make it consistent. What do we always say? Consistency. All right, and try different times. So when you Periscope, try different times. Um, obviously when you're in line at school, I don't really don't periscope. I watch periscope, but I don't periscope when I'm doing that. Um, so try different times, uh, for periscope, uh, your playback audience is going to be bigger than your live audience. So if you only have two people on, don't freak your playback audience. You could have 32. So just really know that, that people don't watch live like me. I, I don't watch live anymore really. So know that your playback audience is going to be even bigger. And it really is a huge tool that we just are really discovering and really growing and it's going to be more and more on it um, for us to really be able to use it. And it, you have to kind of get past yourself because you're doing a video and you are talking and it's live. So I can't edit it. <laughs> I can't change if my kid comes in screaming, you know, screaming. I can't change that situation. It happened live. <laughs> so um, it is different and it's something I'm not, like I said, I haven't done any yet, but I will have done one. So I'm just still trying to get into it, but it's something I wanted to talk about tonight because I watch. And so watching has brought a lot of value to me and I will eventually use it. So Periscope, do Periscope. All right. So this is literally it. And then I'll take questions. So I put you social media as a business tool. So that's not the only tool in your toolbox. So I want you to use social media. Jana handed on it earlier about building relationships. It's so huge, guys, that we build relationships outside of social media. It's so huge, not just because of Lexus, but for life. If all of your life is just social media, you really don't have a life. So you want to really have a life outside of social media and grow those relationships with those people. That's going to help you grow as a person. And so you really want to talk to people face to face and phone to phone and um, really get outside of just only messaging people. So it's, that's just huge. So I want you to make sure that you, um, that you use that. So I know, let me look, I don't have any, do we have any questions? I don't see any questions on here. Um, all right. 
Well, that worked. If you have any questions, you can put them in the Q&A. I don't see any on here. I don't know if Jana jumping on messed with the questions or not. Sorry. Um, if it did, you can message me, and I'll be glad to answer the questions. Any questions you have? I went through a lot of that kind of fast. Um, so if you do have questions, let me know. But it's Tuesday, and I'm so glad all of you jumped on. And that is really it. Again, use your toolbox. Use it as part of your toolbox. And really be strategic in everything that you do. All right, guys. Happy Tuesday. Thanks, guys, for jumping on.